John started his public speaking journey eight years ago because a job performance review didn't go well. <laughs> Isn't that always the case? The theme, the power of possibilities, resonates with John as a Canadian. He has found that there are so many opportunities being Canadian compared to so many other places in the world. John believes that Canadians have amazing possibilities living under the red and white maple leaf flag. John is in the Canadian military. With two tours in Afghanistan as a combat engineer, he has a unique perspective on the possibilities available to Canadians that many others only dream about. He was also fortunate to have a roommate named Grandpa Bill during university, <laughs> who schooled him on the power of possibility. And when I hear that, it sounds like there are a few speeches in there. Please help me welcome John Hallett. How to grow up. How to grow up, John Hallett. As a kid, who did you want to be when you grew up? Do you have a mentor, a role model, a hero? For me, my hero, as was just heard, and the guy that I wanted to grow up and be like was Grandpa Bill. First recollection I had of Grandpa Bill was at a family Christmas party about 30 years ago. Standing in the kitchen, an armada of chocolate boxes was in front of me. I couldn't quite read then, so I was debating which one to pick. Grandpa Bill sensed my indecision as he walked up behind me and he said, Jonathan, when I don't know which one to pick, I just bite one. If I don't like it, I put it in my pocket, try another. <laughs> Flawless logic for a six-year-old. So while the family was singing Christmas carols in the front room, Grandpa Bill and I ate about two dozen chocolates. <laughs> Only problem was he didn't tell me that you had to wrap the chocolate in a napkin before putting it in your pocket. <laughs> so with these huge stains in my pants on the ride home and my mom lamenting at me, Jonathan, where on earth did you get the idea to put chocolate in your brand new pants? It was still cemented that I wanted to be just like Grandpa Bill. As a young kid, I was very fortunate I got to stay close with Grandpa Bill. and We uh, always seemed to be on the opposite end of the life spectrum. I was learning about girls. He was learning how to get over the loss of Grandma. I was learning how to drive. He was learning how to get around without a license. I was learning all about new freedoms and experiences, where he was learning all about having restricted freedoms and experiences as health went. And even though I joined the military, following in his footsteps, married a nice girl, following in his footsteps, and uh, got an education, I just could never close that gap and be more like Grandpa Bill. There just seems to be more to do. I actually got quite frustrating. Like, he's getting old. Shouldn't he start shutting down? <laughs> and he let me in on his secret one day. Due to his failing health, he had to move into an assisted living home. I didn't think much was going on, so I popped over shortly thereafter for a visit. Hey, Grandpa, you got time for coffee? Sorry, John. I got yoga. <laughs> Confused because he was wearing a business suit with a pen and paper in his front pocket, I said, Hey, Grandpa, don't you need uh, spandex for yoga? No, I don't need that stuff, John. The only spandex I need is my suspenders. They keep my pants from falling down when I start bending over. <laughs> now stop asking questions, we're going to be late. So out of curiosity, I followed my 97-year-old grandpa into an auditorium. There's 10 other seniors there, all ladies except for Grandpa Bill. <laughs> as you can imagine, a 95-year-old yoga class wasn't too exciting when they were just doing stretches such as head, shoulders, knees, and they look at their toes. <laughs> but things got really interesting when that instructor said, all right, everyone, find a partner. And all the ladies, like seagulls on a french fry, fail, 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 fail. He pulls out the pen and paper from his pocket. Now I knew why he was dressed in the suit. All right, ladies, hold on. Who was first? 
And as he started to make a waiting list for his partner, the yoga instructor finally lost it because he had turned her yoga class into a speed dating course. <laughs> hey, Bill, when are you going to grow up? I've never forgotten his response. Why would anybody want to grow up? Truth be told, at 97, Grandpa Bill still didn't grow up. And until that day, I thought life was all about growing up and becoming someone, arriving at a destination. Grandpa Bill taught me that life has nothing to do with about growing up and everything to do with growing through life. As life hands you challenges, the key is to see your remaining possibilities and try them. Pick the ones that you like. Grandpa Bill overcame the loss of grandma, the loss of his driver's license, and the eventual loss of a lot of his freedom with his failing health, because he always saw the opportunities and change, tried the remaining possibilities, and picked the ones he liked. Just like he taught me how to eat a box of chocolates so many years ago. <laughs> the last memory I have of Grandpa Bill before he passed away was on his 102nd birthday sitting in a, the nursing home auditorium where there was about five floors you could see up. He just finished eating a second piece of chocolate cake. <laughs> Looks up. <clears throat> More. My cousins and I kind of look at each other and are like, what harm's a third piece going to do when he's 102? <laughs> so I get him a big piece of slab cake and he's eating it away and I'm telling him all about the latest that I'm doing and all the latest in my life and he pauses and stops and says, John, you know what I'm working on? I'm trying to get on to the second floor. <laughs> Still growing and engaging possibilities in his life with very minimal options left. Tonight's theme is the power of possibilities. And as I reflect on the possibilities as a Canadian soldier and what we have is being Canadians, as well as the life lesson that I learned from Grandpa Bill and how he always found the remaining possibilities in his life and engaged them. I would close with, grow through life one bite at a time and your life will be as rich as a box of chocolates. Thank you for John? John, thank you for giving us that message. Very important words. Why would you want to grow up? I'm just picturing Grandpa Bill having cake at that big buffet in the sky. <laughs>